This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey gang, Larry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical Channel. Today I got a really cool 1911 for you. Brought to you by BCM and it's part of the Made in America series. It's a Colt 1911 that I customized and built for my good friend Ken Hackathorn in the mid 90s for his 50th birthday. Now how did this come about? Myself and my good buddy Super Dave Harrington were on the road back from Ken's in Ohio back to Fort Bragg. We were both stationed in the army there at the time. Dave brought up the idea, he goes, you know what, Ken's 50th birthday is a little over a month away. Why don't we build him a 1911? And we were thinking about you know, buying one. We said, you know what, I'll build it. So Dave, to his credit, went into overtime sourcing parts, getting resources, getting people on board to help in on the project. And I essentially started building the gun and burning the midnight oil because I built this pistol faster than any other 1911 that I've ever built. Now, when I say I burnt the midnight oil, I'm being very honest with that because I built this gun probably in a month, month and a half. And keep in mind, I was active duty military at the time, so the only time I had to build it was in the evening or on weekends. All right, now, how did it all come about? The pistol itself is a Series 70 small letter, okay? What that means is it's a gun that was made prior to the Series 80 by Colt in and around the late 70s, early 80s time frame. I went ahead and did a slide to frame fit on it. I fit a Barstow barrel and bushing, no full length guide rod because I'm not a fan of it and neither is Ken back in this era, of course. The Wilson beaver tail, I fitted in the rear a 298B beaver tail, one of my favorites. Also has a Wilson hammer and a Wilson EDM sear. SNA flat mainspring housing that I checkered 20 LPI and also blended in the magazine well to the pistol. Ed Brown extended thumb safety, no ambi. Ken's just a fan of an extended thumb safety only. It lowered and flared the ejection port. Barstow barrel fitted, which is an outstanding, very accurate 1911 barrel and 45 ACP. Also did front grasping grooves up here that match the rear. I also did on top what we call the SIG P210 style slide serrations up top. There's a scallop that starts right in front of the rear sight and goes off the end with serrations on it, much like what the SIG P210 has in Switzerland or the later German ones as well. I did a carry bevel package. I completely dehorned the gun. It has Novak sights front and rear, plain black by the way, even a plain black front, which at the time Ken Hackathorn and I could actually see the front sight with plain black. Those days are long over, by the way. You have a Videcki three-hole long trigger here. I hand checkered the front strap 20 LPI and of course a set of exotic double diamond hardwood checkered grips. Outstanding pistol. I put my logo on the side, LA Vickers Custom. Very, very proud of it. And of course my traditional dark gray parkerized finish. Very happy with how the gun turned out. Ken only ever shot it once, by the way, when he first got it, cleaned it up and put it away, and it's been unfired to this day, and we're gonna fire it up for you. Now, this particular pistol is in the first edition of the Vickers Guide 1911 book, and myself and James Rupley are revamping that book in the two editions. A lot more pistols added, a lot more details, and we're gonna have a volume one and a volume two. And this pistol will be prominently shown in volume two. Make sure you stay tuned to the vickersguide.com website to watch when those books are gonna be pre-released. We're fixing to light it up for you, LAV style. We got MagTech ammo on board, stay tuned.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.